Hi, welcome to NZB Grabbit Tutorials. In today's tutorial we are going to teach you how to upload an NZB file to the site. For today's test we are going to start on the main forum and we are going to upload a NZB movie file. OK, we scroll down the forums until we find the NZB index. We click on the NZB index and at the top of the new screen you will see there is a create NZB. We click this and a new screen opens giving us a section of the types of NZB we can upload. The reason for different types is because there are different informations for different sorts of NZB. For today's we are going to select movie and upload a movie NZB. OK, this is the post forum for us to upload an NZB file. To start, we will browse our computer and find the NZB file. So we click on the browse button, which brings up a search box for our computer. Now I keep all my NZBs in an NZB file on my desktop, but my active NZBs I actually keep on the desktop. So we'll scroll along and as you can see I've got a couple of NZBs. The one we're going to upload is this one. So I will click on it and I will then click open and you'll see that it takes us back to the screen and the NZB location is there ready for us to upload. OK, most NZB files will actually have the exact name of the content so I am going to copy this by selecting it, right clicking and copy I am then going to, play to place it in the release name box by right clicking and pasting. Now this is the exact name and this is the name as the NZB will be known as on the site. OK. The next box is language. It is English by default. For this film we have no reason to change it. Because it is a RIP file it is region free so we do not need to select a region. This would only be for DVDs or Blu-rays. We don't want to upload an, another NZB, but if we select here, we can after we've finished this one. OK, these icons are the different types of films that we can have. The one we're uploading, as we can see from the title, is a 720. So we need to go along and it will highlight 720. So we click this and you'll see that the icon here has changed to 720. The reason for selecting an icon is because this is the sub-forum that will place our NZB in. OK, next we fill in the information. The info link here for movies is IMDB. So we get our IMDB link, which I have saved here. We click and copy it. We come back to our page, we click in the box, we right click and we paste. So we now have our IMDB link here. You can just type it in or you can copy it from your web browser. I happen to save it in a text file. OK, if we click grab and fill, you'll see that it fills in all the other boxes for us, including the image preview which will be uploaded and we can then preview, which we'll do now. There you go. There's the image. OK. Now we scroll down and you'll see there is an NFO box. If we have an NFO file, we copy the contents here. So I actually have it open ready and I will edit, select all and then copy. We'll minimise that box there. We'll come back to the box, we'll click once to highlight it and then we'll right click, paste. We have inserted our NFO information. OK, so we just quickly go back, we check that everything's filled in. We have the title, we have the location of the NZB, we have selected an icon which is shown there, we have added the IMDB link, we have grabbed the information, we've added the NFO, so simply now we submit the NZB. 
After clicking submit it will take a moment because it's got to upload the NZB from our computer. Once it is uploaded the NZB it will then take us to a new screen showing us as it will appear on the site. OK, we'll just wait a moment for it to do that. And there we go. This is how it will be seen to other users on the site. We can scroll down, we can check that everything's right. That all the information is there. You'll see it automatically grabs the technical information from the NZB we have uploaded. And then we can create NZB or create zip. And that is as simple as that. We have added an NZB to the index.